two pieces of Ezekiel bread right here, but I mean, really, should I have to count two points for that? That's like half of a piece of bread, but I will. So uh, that's four points. I sprayed them with some butter. I used a tablespoon of the Kirkland cheese for one point, one piece of the uncured Canadian bacon. I think that's zero. Three pieces is one point. And this is about a cup of egg whites with the cheese on it for zero. Um, and my bacon heating up. So I'm gonna have a sandwich here for five points. All right, my coffee this morning is the Starbucks Blonde Roast um, iced coffee. I guess I put about two cups in there. I don't know, I, don't, I haven't really measured it. Um, zero points. And then the Silk Almond Milk. This is the unsweetened vanilla. Um, one cup is one point. Half a cup is zero. I'll put half a cup in here. And then I'm gonna put some vanilla cream stevia in there. Yummy, yummy. And here we go. Good morning. <clears throat> hey everybody. So it is Wednesday, December the 20th, which I just feel like this month has a flown by. I don't know if you guys feel like that or not. Um, but I cannot believe that we have Christmas in five days and then it will be the new year. So <clears throat> we definitely are rounding the corner to the end of 2017. And I'm really hoping that I go out <laughs> lighter than I came in. Um, it definitely looks, looks that way. Um, unless I have some sort of huge gain on Saturday. Um, I've been trying to stay off of the scale since the other day when I think it was up a little bit. <clears throat> and I just, excuse me, I'm still doing the congestion thing. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I'm hoping that I will be down a little bit on Saturday and that will be, actually that's not my last weigh-in. Um, the following Saturday will be my last weigh-in. I really want to be in the 230s for 2018. Um, I just, who knows if that's possible, but that's sort of my little mental goal. Sorry, I'm gonna fix you guys. Um, so we will see what happens with all of that. Um, the other thing that's coming up, I don't know if I've talked about too much, is I'm going on vacation in a few weeks, and that's going to be interesting, so I will talk to you all about that as we get closer, um, and what I'm going to do on vacation, especially since I don't want to ruin my progress <clears throat> that, you know, over the last couple months, I've been doing this since the end of October, and so I want to be very careful that I don't undo all of my hard work which is really easy to do on vacation. Um, I put a picture up yesterday when I was showing you guys that workbook from Weight Watchers and it has my picture from my 45th um, birthday that was October, early October this year. And I can definitely tell a difference between then and now and just, you know, how my clothes are fitting and everything, so that's awesome. But it was funny because I had been really strict up until my birthday and we went to Florida. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a frog in my throat. Um, <laughs> so we went to Florida and I was really good there, but I had like dark chocolate every night and I had wine and we went to Epcot one on my birthday and I decided that you know, I was going to get myself a treat, so we went to Paris and Epcot, and it was food and wine that week, so I was really, you know, great with my meals in Epcot, but then when we went to Paris, I got those little um, macaroon cookies, which are like my favorite dessert. All desserts are my favorite dessert, but I love those little French macaroons, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, I got like a I think it was a six pack of those and I ate those, you know, during the day. 
and then we went to a German restaurant that night in Germany and it was a beer house and they had a buffet and I you know had I didn't eat any bread or anything but I ate kind of like low carb and anyway I think I was up like when I got back I was up like five pounds from the week <clears throat> which was fine you know I was okay with that I you know um, when, when we got back, I was at five pounds and then I think it was like the next week that I was like, okay, um, I'm going to need some help. I'm going to go to Weight Watchers. So yeah. And when I got to Weight Watchers, I was 255 and I think I had been hanging out around 250 ish prior to my birthday. Um, Victoria Conrad was asking me in the comments if I'm going to keep doing um, daily videos after December 25th and I you know I don't know um, I don't know if you guys would want to watch that I mean it's pretty monotonous I feel like you kind of see I eat the same thing every day um, but it is it keeps me really accountable and on track so I mean is that something that you guys are gonna watch if so let me know in the comments. Um, my neck is doing better. Thank you all for your prayers and well wishes. That was really sweet. And it's still stiff and a little sore, but it's doable. Today it's going to be extremely busy. It's very foggy out, too. Um, my boss is only here for a half day today. So this afternoon I will have her responsibilities along with my own and we have a very busy um, day with the surgeons so I've got all my 12 surgeons that <clears throat> you know run around with them um, so yeah I'm anticipating a busy day and I brought myself leftovers from last night it's gonna be kind of I mean I just have sort of a boring food life I'm sorry you guys this is the stuff I like to eat and little bit repetitive but I, I kind of like that honestly it's not taking me a lot of mental work to buy things that I like to eat hello it's lunchtime um, I have leftovers from last night so I have two pieces of tilapia in here I don't know if you can see them um, with panko for one point and I have vegetables for zero and I had used a tablespoon of, or yeah a tablespoon of my cheese this morning for one point and I put the other tablespoon on my veggies. And then I have some snacky type stuff too. I have two eggs. I don't think I'm gonna eat those right now, but I might eat them this afternoon. And I have my delicious apple I'm so excited about and a bowl of pineapple. So I think I'm gonna do the apple and the eggs later and have pineapple right now. And then I have this Zevia, which is the ginger root beer. It is delicious. So I'm gonna go enjoy my lunch. Okay, I'm sitting here watching Sandy over at Let's Get Fit. And she has a letter, like a Christmas card from Susan, I think I said Sandra at some point, but her name is Susan Pink, who won my giveaway. And Susan, you still have not sent me any information on where to send everything. So if I don't hear from you, on Saturday, I'm going to go live on my YouTube channel and give away the cookbook and everything to somebody else. So I don't know if Susan just hasn't watched my videos since, or she didn't watch my giveaway video, but Susan, if you're out there, Susan Pink, you've won my giveaway. Go back to my giveaway video, my live giveaway video, and you won. So I need your address if you want the cookbook and stuff. Otherwise, on Saturday, I'm going to give it away to somebody else because it'll be two weeks as of Saturday. So let me know. N is for nurse at yahoo.com. Send me your address. I would love to send you the stuff you want. Having an apple on the run. Hey, everybody. I am done with work at about 4.30 today. It's 
so that's a good thing. We had a really good day. Um, it was a good day back. It wasn't too like crazy, crazy. And the surgeons were awesome today. They got their, they got everybody in and out and everything scheduled and just did a great job. So very thankful. Um, I'm about to eat a couple of hard boiled eggs because I'm hungry. It's so funny how <coughs> sorry I'm coughing it's so funny how when you see a lot of other people eating around you that you're hungry but you're not it's like not actual hunger it's just like socialization <laughs> hunger I'm making up terms now like where you just want to eat because everybody else is eating um, that was totally me today everybody's eating and someone gave me a huge thing of cookies some sort of cookies for Christmas and there's just food everywhere um, I did have one piece I had a Hershey miniature dark chocolate and it was two points I'm like two points Ugh. I mean I love chocolate but two points sorry I can't get my little eggs open okay I got those open at a stoplight that I've been sitting at for a few minutes because there's construction like everywhere around. Um, yeah. So, and I popped those little guys in my mouth. You know, hard boiled eggs you can eat so quickly. They're such a good like snack to have. Um, all right. So let me tell you what I'm thinking about today. In about three weeks, I'm going on vacation and I'm going on a cruise. So, I have been thinking a lot about how I'm going to approach this whole thing. It's kind of in the back of my brain and I keep, you know, it keeps coming towards the front forward, the front of the brain. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. But as I'm getting closer, I was starting to make a list of things that I need to take. So here's the deal. We have a five day cruise. We're going to, oh, there's like little kids running in the street. Lord have mercy, please be careful, little girl. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Um, it's a five day cruise. The first day is a sea day. Well, like you get on the boat and then the first day is a sea day. Sea day. And then there's two days in Mexico and then another sea day. So, I've been looking, this is why YouTube is so great. I've been looking at YouTube and looking up, like, the menus and more information on the cruise and, like, the excursions and all of that and trying to figure out how I'm going to eat while on the cruise because I want to stay on program as much as possible, you know. I at least want to track everything and have an awareness of what I'm doing. So... Um, and I plan on taking, there's a gym on the ship, so I do plan on getting steps and exercising. You know, to me, that sounds like a good way to feel like I'm in control is to integrate, you know, some healthy behaviors into a vacation that has a lot of food as like sort of the central theme. So I was looking at the menus and there's a lot of options that I can do. Um, I'm going to have to watch like sauces and that sort of thing. And I want to be able to have some dessert here and there. So I think I'm going to spend the majority of my points. The other problem is wine. So I'm going to have to make a decision on how I'm going to do the whole thing. But, um, I feel like if it, I at least try and don't go completely off the rails, then I won't have a hard time getting back, you know, into real life because I'm not going off program. So I'm not going to say getting back on program because that's not what I'm doing, but getting back integrated into real life. Um, I think what happens a lot of times is you, you know, go completely hog wild and then it's really hard to get your motivation back. And I don't want to mess up. I mean, it, it is just so hard to get to this point where you're on track. So 
I think that's why I keep thinking about it because it's worrying me. Um, but anyway, the reason eating those hard boiled eggs kind of brought this up again, because I know I mentioned it this morning, is I've been thinking about on the excursion days, you know, obviously I can eat a big breakfast at zero points in the morning, but then I don't know, like one of the excursions I'm going on has lunch. The other one has like a, a snack of some sort or something. Um, so I'm going to bring some snacks. Like I thought about bringing like some protein bars and things like that that we can carry with us that we can eat on the go. I don't, if you guys have ever been on any kind of vacation cruise type of thing and have done something like that, let me know, um, kind of what your tips and tricks are in the comment field or, you know, I mean, I can obviously look on YouTube as well, but if you have any specific ideas, especially if you have any cruise tips or tricks, um, I would love to hear them because, you know. All right, I'm home and Judah was so sweet and went and got me a Chipotle salad for dinner. So I'm going to turn you around and show you that. So we have a salad here that has, let's see what we put on here, a chicken bowl with extra chicken and guacamole. So I told him to put, it's a lettuce bowl with no rice. It has the corn salsa on it. I'm going to count that for zero. It has double chicken, which I guess would be zero and peppers and onions. Um, and a little bit of black beans, and then the guacamole is going to be eight points. There's no cheese or sour cream. I was thinking about putting some of this Parmigiano Reggiano cheese on it. Um, so I pre-tracked this, so after this and the chocolate I had, I still have eight smart points. So I could do that for one point. Um, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go eat. I decided to take a walk because I only have 8,000 steps and it's starting to get dark so I thought well if I just ran out now um, I could get you know it's only 530 at night and it's like really dark <laughs> so I just thought I would come out and since everything's feeling better just try to get some steps in um, I've been using a lot of that deep relief from Young Living on my knee and my neck is still messed up but my knee from Saturday feels great so I'm gonna try not to overdo it but um, you know I don't I just don't want to get to the point where I'm not ambulating around and I feel like the more I sit the worse it hurts like if I'm actually moving around it feels better so um, Tammy, Tammy, I forgot your last name, uh, messaged me over on Facebook and told me that Be Calm that I told you guys about for constipation, that they also make a cream that you can rub on, um, and it helps with inflammation, and so I'm going to look into that. She sent me a picture of it, um, I'll try to insert it here so you guys can see the cream. But she said it was really helping her with like her plantar fasciitis and some other. Um, oh, her neck, her neck. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try that. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is like my favorite street right here that I'm gonna go take a walk down. I've got the lights on. Um, I'm sure this does not do them any justice. <clears throat> and the loud truck that just drove by just ruined the ambiance. But here, I'll put some Christmas music behind my talking. <laughs> this one is so cute. All right, guys. Okay, I went and I did my walk, and then I had to run to Aldi, so I'm at 10,949. You can't see. <laughs> Steps. I'll insert it over here. Um... So I ran to Aldi because I'm making a lasagna for the girls at work tomorrow. So I have Weight Watcher stuff and non-Weight Watcher stuff. So I'm going to turn you guys around in just a second. 
and show you my little Aldi haul. I spent $50 and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so what I have here, I got some artisan lettuce. This stuff just looks beautiful. So I thought I could make wraps or salads with that. Um, I got the flatbreads, the fit and active ones. These are two points per flatbread. So I thought I would try those. We're gonna see how I do with them. Um, but if, you know, I don't do well, my kids will eat those. So These are chicken sausages. Each one is five points, but they're huge. So I thought I could cut one up and have it like in a veggie stir fry and it would add some good flavor. Um, I got the Fit and Active Reduced Fat Sharp Cheddar. It's three points for a fourth of a cup. So I thought that was pretty good for cheese. Um, I'll show you guys the ingredients on the back. So not bad um, for a fourth of a cup. I got some vegetable medley for zero points. I got corn for zero points. I got carrots for zero points. I got these sliced beets. Um, and I think they're zero points for their 15 calories for an ounce, but I like that on a salad. Then I got three cans of pumpkin. I'm gonna make my crustless pumpkin pie for Christmas day. And I got a pineapple. So that was just like kind of the Weight Watcher stuff I got. Um, I got some other things. I got a baguette for tomorrow. I got my husband some naan. I got some ground beef for my lasagna. Uh, lasagna noodles, Italian cheese, green beans for green bean casserole, and then the cream of mushroom soup for that. This is all lasagna fixins right here. Um, so I'm gonna work on that. And then I got these instant potatoes because I think I might make these on Christmas day. I'm, they were really inexpensive and they looked delicious. So I might try that out. And then I got some more of the olive oil spray. Um, yeah, so $50 for all that and some razors. Cause you know, we girls, we gotta have our stuff. Um, I'm gonna go make a lasagna. Let me turn you around. This is an afterthought. This is so funny. Um, I just got off the phone with my mom and told her that I was making lasagna and she said, go open the big box from QVC. And uh, she said, you'll need it tonight. So I'm gonna unbox this and show you guys what I got. I don't know that I can do it. Okay. <laughs> I got the crazy stuff off. Let me open this up. This is so fun. What in the world, mother? She's so cute. She knows I have to take a lot of stuff to church and I'm always cooking stuff for work. So she wanted to get me something for Christmas for that. And she's like, oh, go ahead and open it. You're going to need it. Let's see if I can unzip it, right? Oh my gosh. It's more, <laughs> it's even more wrapping, you guys. Wow. What in the world is this? Oh, okay. Well, it's the whole, oh my goodness. She is so cute. Oh, this is the whole temptation set. The holiday temptation. Sorry. I'm having to look how pretty. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness, it has all kinds of stuff. So she said she got this on QVC. Um, it has a pot holder. Oh, it has a beautiful, look at this. Beautiful utensil. Um, it's got more pieces in here, you guys. Oh my gosh, it has a lid. Wow, I've never had any of the temptation stuff. So this is, actually I have a salt and pepper shaker and I think that's it. Wow, look at that, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, what in the world? That is gorgeous. My mom is so cute. She is just the best. So um, I'm going to go finish cooking, and I guess I'll be using this dish. <laughs> oh, here's the rack. Oh, you know how they have the serving rack? Here's the serving rack. So anyway, sorry. I know that was a very violent unboxing, but I've got to go finish cooking so and clean this disaster up. But anyway, how fun is that? What a nice present. Thank you, Mom. I love you. So my plan is to have some PB2 and a banana here at some point for one point. That leaves me with seven points for the day, and I got all of my steps in. 
Um, my knee's feeling a little sore, but not bad. <laughs> so that's great. Um, I'm going to go make this lasagna for my work friends and tidy up a little bit and then head to bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to my videos. And I would really love for you to say hi down in the comments. Um, I appreciate all your support and see you tomorrow. Bye.